Que pasa, YouTube? This is your homeboy, Local P420, bringing you another great fight against CL8 Ton Bigsby. Um, great fight. We go at it really good. He knocks me down quite a number of times, but this goes to show you that I'm always going to persevere. Come back towards the um, end of the fight, and you will see what I mean. Um, Want to give a shout out to Turn Up 3000. Unfortunately, the video that me and him a uh, shot of us going back and forth. Something wacky happened to it. I posted uh, some of it only because it was so glitchy and I just wanted to uh, make sure that he knew that um, I know he beat me and, you know, I got a sense of honor. I did tell him I was going to post the fight, but unfortunately because of the way it came out, I wasn't able to, I wasn't going to post up the entire thing with it being so glitchy. Uh, hopefully we can do it again, turn up. Uh, maybe the results will be different. Maybe it won't. But I just want to let you guys know that I'm I'm, I'm really trying to come back into this uh, YouTube uh, thing. Uh, really love this game. No matter what happens to it, I know it's like however many years old. What is it? Four or five years old. And eventually they're gonna stop. You know the servers eventually. And I'm looking for another game that I could possibly get into as much as I've been into with this game, but in a way that I'm able to go online and fight other great fighters and and, and still continue on uh, on being, uh, you know, recognized as a great fighter. Um, through my journey from the beginning of Fight Night all the way until now, I've, I've enjoyed it quite a bit. I've met so many different fighters who... There he goes. He knocks me down with that beautiful left uppercut. Um, but like I was saying, though, um, I met a lot of great fighters, a lot of great people in the YouTube community. Um, I hope shit just keeps getting better for us. Really happy to see where a lot of uh, the people have kept come and, and gone. And, you know, now that I'm fighting a lot more of the old ex-league members and being able to give them a great 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 match um where they can go either way uh they're, they're seeing that great improvement and letting me know that they see that great improvement uh some of them i've beaten some of them i still have yet to beat shout out to hz gaming um dude built me a character that after we fought once he was able to really catch who i was in that character um, I used that character the other day against them, and, you know, it was a non-YouTube fight, and I told him I wasn't going to record the fight regardless of anything, but he beat me, um, only, only thing about that was I did have <laughs> my little crying son all over me, and I was trying to concentrate, but I couldn't, definitely going to have to get a rematch in with that AZ. Definitely need to do it again. Great fight. You're an awesome dude. It's like whatever, you know? Um, let me see what else. Uh, recently fought Dave the Red one. He's still awesome as well, you know? Was, but we had a little a few exchange of words uh, because of the contents of the fight. Um, but it's all good, homie. You know, Dave, you were still cool. I've always considered um, you an elite fighter. Even before you went on your break, you was an elite fighter. Now, when you came back from your break, you were an elite fighter. Uh, hopefully, the tact is if you fought me, um, you know, you can give me some advice or let me know if you think I'm spamming or anything like that. Because, I, like I said, I don't feel like I'm, I'm doing any of that. But... Um, you know, I've been accused, so, you know, that kind of sucks, but it is what it is, you know, I uh, want to say to everyone that watches my videos, thank you very much, I'm glad that I'm able to entertain you guys, I will start, like I said, bringing you even more uh, quality fights, um, now that I've gotten a lot better. Um, so, peace to the end of the world, Two Peace Productions coming back at you, enjoy the rest of the fight, leave comments, like it, subscribe, do what you do, deuces. He missed with that headshot. He got hit right there. But he also gave one solid effort by Miguel Cotto.
<clears throat> Hatton's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. And round number three is underway. Good block there by Ricky Hatton. Just like that. Just Koto's like landed that. a good, solid combination. Now, this is exactly what I love out of offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping Watch his punches. That. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Relax, relax. In and out, in and out. Cotto, obviously a Puerto Rican native, but he has made Madison Square Garden in New York his home away from home. Yes, a lot of Latino fans, a lot of Puerto Rican fans in that area, and they have Let's embraced move. them. Focused on the inside. Move your head. Another flush shot to the head. Good work circle, defensively circle. by Miguel Cotto. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Very nice work from both. Start of round number four. Fairly close fight with one exception. Kodos scored the knockdown in this fight. He's up two rounds to one. And his opponent cannot really be influenced or panicked kid. right body now shot. at this stage of the fight because of that. He still has to stay within his fight. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him. He can counter him. Get close to Come on, kid. There's the combo downstairs. Hatton's well off the mark that time. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Stay away A from snapping go. combination on. by Miguel Cotto. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Unable Move to connect by in. Miguel Cotto. Keep your head moving. Hatton's able to land a good, solid left hand. Left and right, left and right. Very accurate two punch combo by Miguel Cotto. Back to the body. Blocks that punch. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Head move. Hatton's Head coming move. up with the answer. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Ooh. 
Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Watch the hook! Keep moving! Keep moving! How about that angle by Ricky Hatton? That was good stuff. Yeah, that's how you break up pressure. Guys coming at you, you know, trains coming at you. You don't go back on the track because it's going to hit you. You go off the track on the side, exactly what he did. And that train went right past him. Cotto's really doing a fine job here, Teddy. I know everybody falls in love with the clean, effective punching. But you can make an argument that he's controlling this fight right now thanks to his head movement. Yeah, you know, it makes me think about that legendary story about the old great Willie Pep, the will of the wisp. There was a legend that he actually won around without throwing a punch just by making Ricky had stunned and he is Oh, that's gotta hurt. That was a good job by Hatton's opponent right there. He just landed the power shot with precision to put Ricky down. Three, four, get up, Jimmy! Six, seven, eight. Come on, get to your feet. Ricky Hatton. On the other side of it now. Hatton used to doing the damage. Now he has to be the one to deal with it, and he rises up. Focus. Targeting that jab with the right hand behind it. Volume punching to the body there. Side to side. Move to like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Hatton's recuperative abilities being tested to the limit here. Just 60 seconds to gather yourself after being knocked down in the last round. Now, we talk about the fighter, but it's important right now for the corner, for the referee, for the doctor to know that he does have those kind of recuperative powers. So they give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the ref gives him a little more time than he gives somebody else. A shooting right hand by Miguel Cotto. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Good combination to the head. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Good Come clean on, shot, returning it. fire. Well done by Ricky Hat. Jab, followed by the straight by Miguel Cotto. Flush right hand to the head. Hooks on the inside. Keep your hands up. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Ricky Hatton's crushed by a big... Oh, and there you go. How is this going to go on once again he hits the deck? Well, he's getting practice at it, so he might figure it out. Two, three, four. Hatton's now getting back up off the canvas. Basic but beautiful. Jab right hand. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Through the years. I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Miguel Cotto. Keep working, uppercut! Ricky Hatton blocks that punch. 
Cotto's making this like artwork here. I mean, his defense is just a masterpiece. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, actually, you know, the, the sweet science. It's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches. It's supposed to be about inside, going in there avoiding punches. You know, finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you. He understands that. Halfway through the seventh round. Nice work on the right hand by Ricky Hatton. Cotto's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Ricky Hatton. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Close the gap. Solid right by Ricky Hatton. And now he's targeting upstairs. Miguel Cotto's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Big right hand. Oh! Wow, is this good stuff. What good stuff. He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually set up this knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. Cotto's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Come on, kid. Focus. <laughs> It's time to go. It's time to let those hands go. Keep the pressure up. Move in, but you gotta let the hands go. Round number eight is underway here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard. And as we've seen throughout the night, you know, one man up big over the other. However, Teddy, both have gone down in this fight. And that's all you need to know to stay right with this fight. Both have gone down. Solid right. Did you see that? We're going to see what Miguel Cotto's made out of here, folks. Down once again. One, Bunker, two, three, four, five. Get up. Six, get up. Get up. Seven. Miguel Cotto's able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move, because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Commits to the straight right. Oh, he is stunned. He could... Look at that! He is floored by that combination. Absolutely floored. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hurry, get up. That's it. It's over. Fight is over. Miguel Cotto smashed, and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. It's late in the fight and it looked like we were gonna get a decision out of this. Ricky Hatton's power makes it a knockout. Reminiscent of some of the great late knockout fights in the history of this sport. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in.